Welcome to Mission Valley Raceway. Tonight, it's the good old days Hobby Stock 100. Watch these drivers battle it out for $8,500 in prize money. Definitely one of the largest hobby stock purses around. This is true Saturday night short track racing. Mission Valley Raceway is a uniquely shaped 3 8 mile track located on the Flathead Reservation. This track always provides plenty of room for racing and these metal-bodied V8 stock cars are ready to duke it out. Who will have what it takes to survive 100 laps, stay out of trouble, and be fast enough to win? Find out now on Auto Racing Vision. A nice field of hobby stocks coming out of four to take the green. The 23 of Courtney Johnson leads them into one and two. On board with Aaron Clanton as he's trying to maneuver his way through the field. Field stacking up in the center of one and two. Kyle Bassler has to get on the brakes to avoid Josh Thomas, but everybody keeps it clean through the first couple laps. Clanton working his way past Cole Lynn. Another stack up in one and two. Jet Chu taking advantage of it as he moves past Josh Thomas. The battle for the lead is heating up as Aaron Clanton works his way underneath Brad Lee and now sets his sights on the 23 of Courtney Johnson. On board with Clanton, there's room to the inside and he goes through and takes the lead. Johnson back to second. Jed Shu gets into Bassler a little bit, but everybody keeps on going. Doesn't slow Bassler down, as now he's looking on the inside of Brian Watney. Bassler makes the pass stick as Brad Lee moves past Johnson for second. On board with Bassler as he's trying to work his way to the front. Looks like he's gonna follow Lynn past Courtney. Tight racing here. Harassic gets in the back of Robinson, but no harm, no foul. Everybody keeps racing, working past the lap car of James Bay. Robinson and the 07 make their way past Johnson. Number 87 of Cole Lynn looking to the inside of Brad Lee as they're side by side behind him. Great racing here on this tricky three-eighths of a mile track. Looks like the low line's prevailing as Bassler makes his way through and, oh, and Shu gets a little squirrely but hangs on to it. Possibly contact from Robinson. On board with Jed Shu as he's looking for any room possible to get underneath Cole Lynn. Shu with a nice low exit on the front straightaway gets a run under Lynn. Three wide as they pass Bays. Robinson follows suit. Oh, and it looks like we have caution on the track. It's the 70 of Jerome Gunderson turned around and one and two. If you look way ahead, you can see Troy Pilgrim and Jerome Gunderson making contact. On the restart, Jed Chu making an early move on Bassler, and he makes it stick. Jason Robinson follows suit. Moves Chu and Robinson up to second and third. Aaron Clanton, still your leader, trying to hold off these hard chargers behind him. Jed Chu already making a move on Clanton. Is he there? Yes. Clanton gives him the room side by side through one and two. On board with Clanton as Chu completes the pass. Once again, Jason Robinson taking advantage of a door opened by Jed Chu. Looks like Bassler's gonna follow suit as well. Clanton now back to fourth. And 
now Jason Robinson is pressuring Jed Chu for the lead. Robinson's up to the door, going down the back straightaway. Looks like he pulls an advantage through three and four, and he's your new leader going down the front stretch. Jason Robinson to the lead. Now catching up to lap traffic, Shu cuts it down sharply to the inside. It looks like he's gonna pull alongside Robinson. Both these drivers want to use Bradley as a pick. Let's see who prevails. It looks like it's going to be Jed Chu. Jed Chu retakes the lead. Robinson finally gets his way past Bradley and on board with Bassler as he follows suit. Seventy-seven sparking a little bit, and Bassler has reeled him back in. The car that stormed to the front to take the lead is now in danger of losing second spot. Again, he opens the door in one and two. Bassler pulls alongside him. Bassler's gonna make his way back into the second spot, dropping Robinson back to third. Oh, and it looks like we have caution on the track. There's a piece of debris getting picked up. Robinson uses this caution as an opportunity to make some adjustments. And he makes it back out before the green. Jed Shu, your leader, as the field takes the green. Ah, oh, the 07 making its way underneath the 14. Move Harassic up to third place. Robinson mired in the back of the pack. Lots of traffic here to deal with. Lots of Dyson back here as he's looking to get around Jerome Gunderson. He works the high side, gets past Gunderson. Now he's working the high side on Lynn. Makes another pass. He makes easier work of Bradley this time. Oh, and Gardaby gets into Gunderson. Oh, they both go to the infield, spinning Gunderson out. And the yellow flag is out. On board with the 77, as you can see him getting into Gunnarsson. Scratches the paint on that nice Chevelle, but both drivers are gonna be able to keep going. Another restart, and Jet Chu pulls away. Harassic looking on Bassler, ooh. No room to make a move there as Bassler shuts the door. On board with Matt Gallahan as the 77 is lurking right behind him. Robinson trying to set him up. Gallahan doing a good job of holding him off so far. Robinson looking, but not enough there. Gallahan holds him off. If you can hold this 77 car off for more than a lap, you're doing something right. Robinson finally alongside Gallahan, and he's gonna make the pass stick. Now let's see if he can pass Troy Pilgrim to move himself back inside the top five. Makes work of him to the inside. Jason Robinson now has his sights set on the 14 of Aaron Clanton. Two cars and half a lap. Robinson motoring back through this field. Now he's caught up to the stone racing 07. Cuts low. He's gonna get a run down the front stretch. Move him up to third. Now he's back up to Bassler. Let's see what he can do. Same move. Gets alongside him on the front stretch. Takes the spot, moving into one. 
Bassler back to third. Laps are starting to wind down on this first segment. Let's see if he can reel in the leader, Jed Chu. He's got to get past Bradley once again. Oh, a little love tap. Doesn't quite get to the inside of him going into three. But he'll get past him going down the front stretch. Bassler disposes of Lee as well. With just one lap left to go in this first 50 lap segment, Robinson has reeled in Jed Shu. Through three and four, Robinson is hunting him down. He's looking, oh, but not quite enough there to win the segment. Nonetheless, I think everybody in this field is well aware Robinson is here today. Now the field pulls into the pits to make adjustments and refuel their cars. And now service has been completed and these competitors are pulling back onto the track for the second 50 lap segment. Restarting this race, 50 laps to go. Let's see what happens in segment number two. Robinson already looking for the lead on Jed Chu. Two drivers with lots of experience on Montana short tracks duking it out here for this $8,500 purse. Oh, Robinson looking low down the front straightaway. He might have just enough going into one. Looks like he does. Robinson loses a tire. Man, tough break. It actually looks like Robinson broke an axle, which happened to him earlier this week in practice. Unfortunate for the 77 who was putting on a heck of a show running through this field. Heartbreak for Robinson. There's where his left rear tire lays. They load him up and get that car out of here. He's done for the night. The sheer number of laps starting to take a toll on some of these vehicles as Matt Gallahan needs a push start but gets it going again. The field is restacked for another restart and Jed Chu pulls away. Gallahan to the inside of Lynn. Bassler's hanging with Chu. Oh, and Aaron Clanton is pulling off the track at the end of the front straightaway. Tough break for our early leader in the 14. That'll bring out a caution. Once again, Jed Shu restarts this race from the lead. Looks like Bassler's really sticking with them this time as they work past the lap car of Courtney Johnson. Oh, and Johnson cuts to the bottom right in front of Gallahan. Bassler starting to apply some pressure on Shu. Oh, he's really close through the center of one and two. Oh, and we see Pilgrim and Gunderson getting together a little bit. Bassler still working Shu for the lead. He's going to try to get a run on the high side. Maybe he can make a move in one and two here. He's underneath him. Ooh, that is close. Bassler hangs on to it. You see Gunnarsson hanging it out as he's on the attack on Troy Pilgrim. Bassler's reeled shoe back in. Goal in with the little fishtail action coming out of turn four. Let's see if this will stack up our leaders. Bassler with lots of pressure on Chu. Oh, unfortunate for Matt Gallahan. Looks like an unscheduled pit stop under green. He was in the top five. And Bassler continues to stalk Chu. He's all over him. They both work past Gardaby. Oh, and you can see a little smoke coming off of Shu. 
Looks like there's definitely some mechanical gremlins going on all of a sudden on the 23. He's hanging on to the lead, but will the car last? Smoke continues as Shu goes down the front straight away. Oh, he's off the pace now. Looks like a right front brake issue for Jed Shu. How unfortunate, such a strong running car. Heartbreak for Shu as we are in the closing laps of this race. He's going to try to limp it around, but this surely knocks him out of contention for the win. Final lap for Kyle Bassler. Chu had to pull off the track. Kyle Bassler comes across the line and wins the good old days Hobby Stock 100 at Mission Valley Raceway. The rest of the field making it across the line. The 07 of Harassic had to pull off late in the race too, so that'll shake up this finishing order. Bossler doing a well-deserved victory lap. The 12 of Troy Pilgrim ends up with a second place finish and Jerome Gunderson makes his way back up to third after a pair of spins. A lot of cars from out of town entered this race. Some people threw cars together just for this race. And in the end, a weekly regular here at Mission Valley wins, Kyle Bossler. Everybody, give it up for your hired lap champion, Kyle Bossler.